home with the drought intensifying in most counties, the protection of girls is at high risk now more than ever. The gender inequality gap is widening further as girls in communities most affected by the drought are the first to drop out of school as families struggle to keep their children in learning institutions in Nara County. Well, the situation is no different there as some girls stay away from schools, exposing them to the risks of early marriage, teen pregnancies, as well as female genital mutilation, even as the community works to fight the vices. Martin Munene reports. At the home of Nesubuki Nasarian in Olchoro Orwa, Naruk South, we find Lea Naishauru. She is the only child out of 10 that is going to school. Her mother cannot afford to have all of them in school at the same time. Some had to drop out to help the family take care of the few animals left as the drought persists. Asarian is having to bear the weight of a family as her husband is said to have traveled in search of pasture for the rest of the animals as the assistant chief explains. Baba yao ako hai. Lakini sasa hivi kulingana na sile changamoto ya kiangazi ya kuhama hama alihama na ngombe na akaacha watoto ndipo nikapata wale watoto wamefungiwa kwa nyumba hawaendi shule hata lishe naona kama wanapata kwa kwa nadra the assistant chief got wind of the situation from an elder as the community strives to reduce the number of girls staying away from schools sasa mimi naambia wale watu wa kila ile abama yetu yote Aweka watoto shule mosiana na kichana asome na watoto mosiana wote asome kabisa na usikeketa sasa kama na kama nakuta baba mwingine iko shida kama eh, nasuia watoto kama sasa hivi imekuta watoto nasuilia mimi nasikia audio na chief we accompanied the girl at Olgirai Primary School and here the school head explains that a lot of parents are not willing to have their girls in schools. They don't bring their children to school unless they are forced. Like last year, they were forced by the team and they brought so many of them here. But the moment they left... They kept the children alive. But even in the midst of the challenges, some in the community are determined to have girls get an education. Local leaders joining hands with government agents and teachers to raise the numbers of learners, especially girls in schools. Tunatumia kanisa, natumia barasa. Inatumia barasa kubwa sana muno. Inatumia sasa kanisa. Na inaandamana kila siku wangalia kusimamia, kuambia watu asifanye kasi kama hizi kukakata watoto na tunafanya mkutano kubwa sana mno ni jukumu letu sisi wote tukiwa serikali tukiwa wasasi na tukiwa walimu tuhakikishe watoto wote wanapata masomo filifio na tuhakikishe wote wao shuleni kwa wakati ufaavyo Martin Munene Citizen TV